This week on Outdoor Bound TV. We travel to eastern Wyoming with Clint Colby of Poinette, Wisconsin. Now Clint will be taking part in an all-expense paid hunting trip with Outdoor Adventures for the Physically Challenged, a Wisconsin-based nonprofit organization who specializes in helping disabled and terminally ill hunters realize their dream of hunting out west. Awesome buck. That was a dandy. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Real Deal Mineral, Brew Pub Pizza, Meyer Recreational Buildings, and Colby Chrysler Center. Real Deal Mineral, the results speak for themselves. Brew Pub Pizza is specifically designed with the hungry in mind. It's big, it's bold, and it's outrageously delicious. Brew Pub Lotta Matza Pizza is made with your favorite premium meats and veggies topped with over a half pound of real Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. When you're looking for the ultimate pizza adventure, when you crave a really serious pizza that brings the great Brew Pub experience, this is the one. Available at your local Triggs grocery store. Brew Pub Lotta Matza Pizza, the ingredients for a great time. At Meyer Recreational Buildings, you'll get a certified building experience where we assure you a worry-free, guaranteed, high-quality recreational building. Designed by outdoorsmen like you, Meyer Recreational Buildings are built with the highest quality American-made materials. Build with confidence. Build with Meyer. My name is Jeff Meyer from Meyer Recreational Buildings. Call me today for a better way to build. Visit our website at MeyerRecreational.com and pick out your design today. At Colby Chrysler Center, we know that spending time with your family is important. That's why we won't waste your time with any high-pressure sales tactics or extended service wait time. Just fair and affordable pricing on new and pre-owned vehicles and honest, straightforward service long after the sale. Ram 1500, Motor Motor Trend Truck of the Year. Not once, but twice. That's right, twice. Whether you're from near or far, we want you to feel right at home at Colby Chrysler. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home, Welcome home to Colby Chrysler. Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm your host, Kurt Walbeck. On this week's show, we head back to Eastern Wyoming with our friends from Outdoor Adventures for the Physically Challenged. Now, this Wisconsin nonprofit organization specializes in taking disabled and terminally ill hunters on an all expense paid trip of a lifetime to Eastern Wyoming. Now, this all started when an Elroy, Wisconsin couple, Ron and Barb Brunner, set aside their entire RBJ ranch just for disabled hunters. Now we're going to be taking along with Clint Colby from Poinette, Wisconsin. Clint was severely injured when he was young in an auto accident and today is confined to a wheelchair, but that hasn't dampened his love for the outdoors. So come on along as we head to Newcastle, Wyoming right now.
My name is Clint Colby and I'm from Poinette, Wisconsin, back close to Madison. Uh, back in 1990, I was in the back seat of a car and the driver crashed into a concrete wall. And I was thrown and broke my neck in the sixth and seventh vertebrae. I'm a quad, which I'm paralyzed from up here and I don't have grip in my hands. So it's a little harder to hang on to things and stuff, so we have to make some adjustments. And I'm permanently in a chair. I went to a class reunion and one of the, my classmates turned me on to Outdoor Adventures and said, you should really sign up for this. And Well, Clint, you ready? I'm ready. You gonna put her down? Yeah. Or him down, I mean? You can shoot a whitetail or a muley. Fuck. Yeah, I've shot, between gun and crossbow, in the last 11 years, I've shot 16. I shot three last year, two with the bow and one with the gun. Which was my record for a year. And I filled out the application, sent it in, and then I got a letter back, and board members came out to the house, interviewed me, and said that, okay, we're gonna set this up, this is what we're gonna do. We'll pay for your gas on the way out to Wyoming, your gas on the way back. When you're there, you have all your meals. There's a, a lodge that we have, at, like four bedrooms for you and your attendant. Bring any of your equipment or hospital stuff, anything you need for day-to-day -day living, you know, bring that yourself. They proceeded to take care of paperwork and try to get the sign up for the licenses to see if I would get drawn for the hunt. And I got both the tags. And we had been in touch, you know, kind of keep the wires open for communication. So if you have any questions, just give them a call or go on their website to contact them. Out here, it's so much different. There's such a bunch of good guys that work as a teamwork. They try to understand you first and what you need and what will work best for you. So between all you, you work together and make it happen. With this chance to come out and shoot a mule deer and an antelope or one or the other, um, it was just really exciting because I've never been out on a hunt like this and it's a totally different experience. All right. All right. Yep. Thank you, guys. All right. Good we'll see you later. Yep. Thank you. We'll see you guys at seven. I'm out here in western Wyoming, going on a mule deer hunt and looking to get shoot a big mule deer. Um, it's 2013, it's our first night in the blind. It's a calm and nice sunny evening and we're hoping that the mule deer are gonna come back from feeding and go to bed down and they'll pass out in front of us out here and I'll get a shot at one. I'm guessing over here is gonna be the best place to see him right off the bat. Cause that's where it's appears to be the grass low enough. The night before the first hunt, you don't sleep much. You know, you're always anticipating that hunt, waiting for the alarm to go off. You're usually up before the alarm goes off. When it does go off, you go, oh, should I really get up? But then you jump out of bed right away. This gun used to have a trigger guard on it. And because I don't have grip in my hand, 
I can't pull the trigger with the trigger guard in there. I can't get my hand in there and pull back. So I took the trigger guard off. So that way I can put my whole hand up there and then grab a hold and pull back. Gives me more leverage. That way I can make the shot. When I wanted to go back to hunting, I took and found some stuff and made my own shooting stand. A friend of mine machined aluminum pipe and made a receiver to hook it to the chair. And then we put a bolt that clamps it to the chair to keep it a little more tighter and rigid. And the wheelchair fork here just has a bolt through it. You tighten that up so when the gun sits perfectly level it kind of hides you from the animals, which is a really plus. And then all I have to do is pivot it side to side when I go to make the shot. And if I lean into it a little bit, you can get your up and down elevation. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Kubota, Rue Motors, Smith Brothers Meats, and MBS. Now is the time to go to your local Kubota dealer and get great financing on a brand new, powerful, feature-loaded Kubota Standard L-Series tractor during our Gear Up and Go sales event. With Kubota, you get durability, versatility, and value. Make a great deal on a Kubota L-Series with zero down and 0% APR financing for up to 60 months during Kubota's Gear Up and Go sales event. 
Go to WausauAreaKubotaDealers.com and get something started today. Hi, I'm Tim Rue from Rue Motors. Whether work or play, we have the Kubota tractor or RTV for you. Rue Motors has been serving central Wisconsin since 1947 with a full line of quality Kubota tractors, mowers, and RTVs. Backed by four generations, you can count on the staff at Rue Motors for outstanding sales and service on all of your quality Kubota products at both convenient locations. Rue Motors, take the short drive up Highway 45 in Burnhamwood or Anigo. A family tradition since 1984, Smith Brothers Meats is known for our huge selection of fresh-cut meats, cheese, and quality meat processing. Let Smith Brothers Meats cater your next big event. We serve from 50 up to 2,000 people. Or grill your own cuts of Smith Brothers Meats to perfection on a handcrafted wood pellet grill, now available. Avid Hunter, we can process your venison and wild game year-round. Visit us online to learn more or stop in today. Smith Brothers Meats, Colby, Wisconsin. Since 1999, McCuffsky Brush Service has been specializing in right-of-way clearing for power, gas, fiber optic, cable lines, and railroads. MBS is your complete brush and tree removal company, and we also clear woods roads and food plots. Whether working on residential tree trimming or commercial projects, MBS utilizes the most advanced equipment and environmentally friendly clearing methods available. MBS, clearing the way to reliable energy. Visit our website for more information. We love to see the photos of the fish you catch and the animals you harvest here on Outdoor Bound TV. And this season, there are some incredible prizes just for sharing your pictures with us here on the show. Winning entries will be selected to receive great prizes, including an assortment of plastic baits from Woodcraft Lures, a professional fish mounting by Mike Liga Taxidermy, a rugged Yeti cooler from Petrix Service Station, or the grand prize, a salmon fishing trip aboard the Grand Illusion 2 on Lake Michigan with Hosh Guide Service. You can submit your photos on the Outdoor Bound TV Facebook page, tag your picture on Twitter, or email your entry to photos at outdoorbound.tv. Be sure to include your full name and hometown with each entry. And remember, you can't win if you don't submit your photos. Here are this week's Outdoor Bound TV viewer photos. Now before we left you for the break, we were in eastern Wyoming with Poinette, Wisconsin's Clint Colby, a disabled hunter who was hoping to put his tag on a mule deer. Let's head back and rejoin Clint in Wyoming right now. We're in Newcastle, Wyoming, and we're going after a mule deer again. Uh, we're trying a little bit different tactic of sitting in the truck instead of my chair and shooting off the mirror. It's going to be a little more challenging, but we're going to get it done. It's uh, supposed to snow tonight, so hopefully it'll hold off until after dark where the deer will want to move and feed before the storm comes in. So it's set up time and time to see if we can get a mule buck. And at this point, we had thought that we should take and sit in the front of a truck, which is totally out of my realm of shooting, because my gun is not mounted and held up. And without even hand control, you're basically just kind of balancing it the best you can. A lot of people that are disabled have a small window of where they can actually shoot. So you have to get you know, see the animals ahead, and these guys will be constantly looking and then getting ready to get set up and thinking, you know, through the whole time trying to figure out what's the best.
I was not lined up in the window of where I could shoot. So we needed to move the truck. Well, what we decided to do is put the truck in neutral, turn the wheel, and push the truck over to the side so I could get as close as I could. Help him push the truck so we don't have to start it so we can get a shot at these muleys. Those moving to the right now. So I was right against the edge of the, the door, almost all the way against the windshield. And we got one shot. And the deer were standing straight at me. And I thought, I usually don't like to take that shot. I like to take a broadside shot. But I thought, okay, this is like the fourth one that we had that was too far, or this might be the last chance. So I think we should probably take this shot, and if, if I'm either gonna hit it straight in the front and it's gonna go right down, or I'm gonna miss clean. If you get a shot, I have the white one in the middle. Got a shot, take him. He's straight on though. I took the shot and in that second everybody's like okay what happened where'd he go where'd he go the deer stood there for a second I couldn't reload because I can't hold on to the gun as soon as I shoot if I took one hand off the gun flops to the side that's it I had one chance and I took that chance. The mule deer ran off. We decided, okay, we better get up here and see where they went. We just had a little bit of excitement. We had eight does and three bucks. And one was standing looking right at us. So I can't, don't have grip in my hands at all. I just laid the gun on the mirror and tried to hold it there and pull the trigger. And made the best shot I could. I'm not sure, I think we, I missed him, but we need to go check and make sure that we don't have any blood. We did not see any blood. It was pretty cool because one of the other gentlemen was able to harvest that animal because it went towards them after I and my team started the process. So that felt really cool. Even though I didn't get the animal, it was just awesome to be part of the harvesting of it as a collective team. It was just kind of interesting how you can cover so much country and see so much country at one time, you know, and where you're not limited to this, just to see them, because I usually hunt out of a box blind, which you're looking straight ahead at one area and that's it. Now you can be looking everywhere for miles to see animals. This whole adventure with these good people has been really great. We had a lot of fun out in the field and back at camp. Um, I wouldn't have gave it up for anything because it just meant so much to me to meet these new friends and also to have a chance to be part of the whole hunt. I would recommend that anybody in any level of disability just fill out the application and experience the greatest thing that might happen to you ever. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Mission, HHA Sports, True Fire Releases, and suffix. This is my life. The weekend warrior. No more production lines or deadlines. This is why I work five days a week. I need speed, power, precision. I expect no less than the best. 
This is my best. This is my chance. This is my mission. Simple, efficient, powerful. Mission by Matthews. Optimizer by HHA Sports. The Optimizer Light Ultra, voted number one single pin adjustable sight for 10 years running. The Optimizer Speed Dial for crossbows, to the yard accuracy with a single reticle. And the Optimizer Horizon, offering unmatched accuracy from both short and long range firearms. All Optimizer sight systems utilize range dial shoot technology. Ask for Optimizer at a dealer near you. Well, Mark, I gotta hand it to you. I am loving my True Fire Hardcore. I wouldn't steer you wrong, brother. Not only is this thing extremely accurate on the range, its features are deadly in the field. What I noticed, whether you're sweating shooting does in the early season or shivering when that late season buck comes in, that jaw cannot come off that loop. I love my True Fire Hardcore. Wait, what do you got there? That's a hardcore forefinger. Give me that. Not this time, brother. <laughs> the True Fire Hardcore, available at your local retailer. Suffolk Safe 32 is constructed with seven strands of Dyneema and a single strand of Gore Performance Fiber. It's the roundest, longest casting line in the world. It offers superior abrasion resistance so you can fish it anywhere. It's the strongest, most sensitive, and durable small diameter braid ever to hit the water. Nice fish, Brett. Thanks. Suffolk 832, always use the best line. Product and promotional consideration provided for Outdoor Bound TV by these fine sponsors. You know, even though Clint didn't get an opportunity to put his tag on a mule deer there in Wyoming, I can tell you from spending time with him, he truly had the hunt of a lifetime. You know, he is such a positive inspiration and has a positive outlook on hunting and life in general. You know, Outdoor Adventures for the Physically Challenged does a wonderful job working with terminally ill and disabled hunters. If you'd like to consider joining this organization as a volunteer or possibly providing financial or promotional support, feel free to contact any of the board members at the website on the screen. Hey everyone, join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the Midwest, around the nation, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. Seriously? Go right yeah. there and do that all just in one <laughs> shot now, okay? Okay, hold on. I'm a C6, C7 quad. I met Dave Reynolds, but he's like a C4 or 5. Like hardly any movement at all. And he's a better shot than I am. <laughs> Did I miss anything? <laughs> <laughs> nope, you didn't miss anything.